Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Adelaide is enjoying a warm summer. Today it's 41 degrees Celsius, that's 105 Fahrenheit. It's very hot, so I made sure I watered all my plants first thing this morning. All of the plants have grown significantly in the last few weeks and now I'm going to show you around the front and back garden as we look at some of the varieties that have pods, including pods that are almost ripe and ready to harvest. So let's go. Here we have the goat's weed, also known as the black cobra. I like the fact that it is a capsicum anum, but it is hairy like a pubescence. The upright growing pods start off green, then jet black, ripening to bright red. My pepper plants are also in good company with beautiful bright marigold and portulaca plants. As we head to the back garden, you can see it's really starting to turn into a pepper jungle. And there you have it, they are just some of the pods with plenty more to come in the next couple of months. Here are some of the plastic tags that I place with my peppers at planting time. As you can see here, some are still legible, however, due to the elements, most have faded, with some almost unidentifiable. As a result, I have made these new tags which should be weather resistant and see out the remainder of the season. Here is everything I use to make them. I've just printed off the pepper varieties on adhesive label paper, but you can use normal paper if you wish. I picked up these steel pegs at my local discount variety store, 10 for $3. 
I also use clear packaging tape which will protect the ink from the elements. To make the tag, the first thing I need to do is peel off my label and fold it in half. I then cover both sides with the tape and smooth out to ensure a good bond. That's our label done, so next I place a strip of tape on the label, leaving an inch or two of tape on the side. I then place the label upside down with the sticky side of the tape facing up. I position the peg on the edge of the label and affix it with the sticky tape. And that's our tag done. All that's left to do is remove the old tag from the pot and replace it with the new one. This worked out really cheap and I'm happy with the result. That's all for this update. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you same chilly time, same chilly channel.